want you close Maybe hold your hand a little while Somehow I know You're gonna be the girl that I'll end up calling my own We ride around in style Sleeves rolled up, glasses on And then you make that smile And my heart starts racing When I'm with you I brought my eyeshadows downstairs because I'm gonna do some makeup, get ready for the day, and then we are gonna go shopping. Shopping! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a day in the life vlog. I'm so excited to be vlogging today. Sydney and I both finally feel better. Like completely 100% feel better. Please don't mind my entryway and my shoes. I need to do, I know, I just don't make it a priority, okay? Anyway, that's not the point. Today's gonna be a day in the life vlog, like I just said. We have some errands to run, and I wanna go shopping. I just want a shopping day. It's what I wanna do, not necessarily buy, I don't know. We're gonna go to Hobby Lobby, which I never, I think I've only been to like two or three times ever, um, because it's about 45 minutes away and just in a town that we never go to. But we're gonna go there, um, and then we're going to possibly find a store. I don't know what they have in the area. We're just gonna take today to go find some things and then possibly look for um, Disney things like um, travel things for Disney not Disney things but like you know shampoos and, and all that good stuff so yeah if you guys like day in the life vlogs give this video a thumbs up my name's Haley this is Sydney if you are new to our channel we do all kinds of motherhood tell them to subscribe subscribe Say subscribe to our channel <laughs> Come on, you you must subscribe. Anyway, um, yeah, let's get along with the vlog. Lightning strikes by my window. It's my chest right in the morning. Like a warning. Could have slept here. Okay, I'm getting a coffee first. <laughs> Don't judge me. Good morning, I'm welcome to Starbucks. My name is Ryan, what can I get started for you today? Hi, can I please have a venti pumpkin cream cold brew with extra foam, please? You got it, anything else for you? I'm actually gonna try that grilled cheese. And I then, think I got one for you. Perfect, and then that will be it. All right, just hold on one moment. Grilled cheese. Do you happen to have any pumpkin scones? I do. Oh, okay, I'll take one of those as well. You got it? And then that's really it. <laughs> All right. I like you sure? Pastels. Yes. <laughs> I like all right. Okay, so I feel like I need to get all the pumpkin cold brews before, before it's gone. I've been working on a recipe at home and then they had a grilled cheese, so that kills two birds with one stone. I don't have to worry about lunch for Sydney because she will be hungry, and then the pumpkin scones too. I needed to justify. Am I at the right place? I didn't even know this one had a drive through so I'm all confused. And then we are going into Hobby Lobby, and then there's an Old Navy um, right there too we're gonna go into because Sydney needs um, more warm clothes because, you know, you know how the weather is like, quickly changing here in Maine. So. Also, I'm wearing these crawlers earrings and I feel I feel like they are too big for my ears. Do they look weird? I really like them. They're really pretty, but different. Okay. I've been getting it with extra foam instead of extra cream. I know I mentioned, I think I mentioned it in my last vlog. Never mind. Don't listen to me. I say the same things all the time because what matters in life is my coffee, right? <laughs> Pathetic. This one's got a lot of foam though. Mm. Mm. Oh my word, it's so good. It's just so good. Okay. What do you think, kiddo? You want some grilled cheese? Of course I want grilled cheese, mama. <laughs> of course I want a grilled cheese, mama. Okay. I'm excited to go to Hobby Lobby because you know, shopping on, I, I, I forget to shop online at Hobby Lobby, but it's so difficult. I just want to see things in person and it's so fun, you know? I still want a couple of like knick-knacky things for the playroom. I feel like the longer I go with waiting for Ikea's madness, um, oh, I haven't shared about Ikea on here. I, ha I did on Instagram. So we're just in the parking lot right now. Um, 
So Ikea canceled my order that they placed for me when I had called customer service saying I received, I didn't receive my whole order that I paid for. It's so weird. So they placed an order for me for the parts that were missing. And then I kept getting emails of changing the confirmation delivery day. And then it kind of came and went twice and I called them finally and was like, Hey, what's up with my order? And she was like, Oh, it looks like it got canceled. Whatever, for whatever reason it, it wasn't supposed to get canceled cause whatever. So now I have a new order placed, um, that they are supposed to be sending me what's today. So I'm supposed to receive it in four days. So crossing my fingers that I actually receive it. But because it's not here and I'm delaying my um, playroom tour, I'm like adding things here and there because it's still fun to decorate. Like little things, not all the big things are all done besides this one thing, so. Anyway, oh my God, that grilled cheese smells good. Apparently Starbucks has grilled cheese now. It looks like it was new. Look how good and decadent. It's actually hot. <gasps> um, and then mama got a pumpkin scone because the pumpkin scones at Starbucks are so good. They are so good. So we'll share a lot of carbs and sugar today apparently. That's okay, we're living it up. Okay, let's go to Hobby Lobby. Okay, first of all, that grilled cheese is amazing. <laughs> like really, really good. Um, second of all, they have so many cute yeah, things for bedrooms, boys, girls, nurseries, playrooms at Hobby Lobby. So, like, seriously, so many cute things. I mean, look at all of this stuff. We say that prayer every single night. And, of course, all the wall decor is 50% um, off. But how cute is everything? And I may or may not have a stash of stuff going on. Oh, are you hot, baby? Yeah. You get so hot in that, huh? She, she like sweats her little bum off. A lot of people ask where this is from still, and it's from H&M, but I think, honestly, I think they're sold out, so. But it, it's so warm and cozy. My sweet girl. Okay, I feel like we're skipping Halloween at this point because there's the Halloween right there. And then there's the Christmas. Isles upon Isles upon Isles and more. <laughs> Although, this Buffalo Check stuff is seriously so cute. Look at all the Halloween stuff. Like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door Okay, so we're at Old Navy now. Um, Old Navy's so hit or miss with me. Either I'm obsessed with everything and I buy everything for a season for her or I don't really find anything for an entire season that I like. It's so hit or miss, but I feel like right now they have so many cute things. Um, for the fall, like, let me show you. I feel like I look like a ghost right now with my lips, but whatever, sorry guys. I don't know if I'm gonna get this, but it's on sale for $12, and this is, I actually, yeah, maybe I will get it. This is um, like a fleecy, kind of cozy basic for me. Being such a good girl, I did get something from Marshall's, um, an outfit for her. Um, but, okay, so how cute. This little dress, this mustard sweater. I feel like Sydney needs all of this. I think I'm gonna get her the mustard colored one. Um, and then they have all kinds of cute little boots. Oh my word, these boots are so cute. Sandals are on sale, so get them for next year. Um, I think I'm gonna get like these two because this is 50% off, so let's see how much this is. Uh, so like 12 bucks, which is like target price. And then 30% off. Ooh, that's kind of expensive. But I'm pretty sure Ibotta, maybe, um, or Drop, the Drop app. You get points back. I have so many apps, you guys know. 
but I like to use them because then you get, um, you know, cash ba or points back, which turns into cash and gift cards. You don't have to wake up yet. Spend all day in bed. I'll put the TV in the room. Okay, so we're home. You guys saw Sydney took a nap in the car. Did you take a nap in the car? No. Yes, you did. She woke up um, like two minutes before we pulled in the driveway and she goes, I took a nap, now I'm happy. And that makes me so happy. She hasn't had a nap in a little while. She seems to need a nap or take a nap like once every three weeks, um, once, something like that, once every three or four weeks. Um, Cause obviously you guys know that she doesn't do naps regularly anymore. But um, I noticed, you know, she had her cold and she was sleeping in a lot. And then it's coming on, I'll turn it up. I put Toy Story on because I'm about to make dinner because it is 4.30 now. Um, anyway, and after her cold, she was, you know, waking up a little earlier, but she was a little bit cranky yesterday. Around like 6, she started getting fairly cranky. And I usually can tell when she's overtired. And it just, she starts getting defiant and it's 100% because she's overtired. So now she'll be in a good mood. She'll probably go to bed right at the same time and she will do very well. So that one nap every few weeks really helps her so much. Mm. Are you in a good mood now? Yeah. Did we, Did you have a good day shopping with mommy? Yeah. She loves shopping with me. Like sometimes whenever we leave a store, she's like, I wanna go to another store, mommy. I don't wanna go to the car. I don't wanna go home. I wanna go to another store. I'm like, aw. She just likes to window shop, just like mommy. I will show you what I got. I actually got most of the things. I'll get out of her face so that she can watch her movie. Um, I actually got a bunch of stuff. I'll set you down. Okay, so I got a bunch of stuff for um, the playroom, actually, like little things. Um, and then at, well, I only got myself one thing because that's how mom life goes. I'll show you what I got for me. So I ended up getting this shirt, which is just like a cream plain shirt from Old Navy. It's just like very soft, cozy um, material. But I was actually looking for a white, ivory, or gray long sleeve shirt for me to wear with this. Um, scarf today and I realized I have none. I don't have any so well, I might have one white shirt but it's dirty. So anyway I got this because I thought it would be perfect with this scarf and my other scarf and actually it's like I said perfect. I only threw the green one on because it was the only like plain shirt that I had. So I got that at Old, oh my word excuse me, I got that at Old Navy for like $12, 11 or $12 on sale. The two things that I wanted for Sydney in the mustard color, they didn't have in her size, and the size up was just absolutely huge. So, unfortunately, I didn't get anything for Sydney that I actually wanted to get her. I got her a couple of staples, though. Um, so, I will just be checking online and checking at a different store. Um, but I like to buy Old Navy when it's on sale, because otherwise, sometimes it can be really, like, high-priced. One of her shirts was $22.99. Um, it rung up $22.99, and I thought it was 50% off, and I was like, mm -hmm. Sorry, I, I have no shame. If it's not on sale and if it's like outrageously priced, I will say right that in there, I'm all set, and I did. So I'll keep looking for that shirt when it's on sale. But I got Sydney a couple of these thermals because they were two for $12 and one of them for 11. So uh, I like to get these for staples. It's just this uh, maroon berry color with the gold, gold? No, cream polka dots. Just plain, those look really good on your sweaters, cardigans, vests, um, and just with leggings. And then I got this one because I couldn't resist on the color and the pattern, I thought that was really cute. I did get these shirts in size 3T because I feel like they run a little tight on her little belly. And then I love Old Navy jeans. I know they can be expensive, but these were 50% off. They have like super good quality and they seem to fit Sydney really well. And they are adjustable at the waist. I got 3T because her 2T ones are just fitting and she just sprouted up in length. So I got her 3T, which I know will be big on her everywhere else besides length. So uh, these are the ballerina legging, jeggings. Yeah, ballerina jeggings. And these are really comfy and stretchy and like just really soft. So I got that for her. That's all I got at Old Navy. Am I gonna show you what I got for the playroom? 
I want to. Oh, I got her one. I got her one outfit from. I got super good deals. Like I didn't spend a lot today at all. Everything was on sale. Like everything. Um, I got her this outfit from Marshalls. I thought this was really cute because it came with the leggings. I haven't gotten her outfits like these in so long. These are like the outfits that I used to put her in when she was a baby. This is Carter's brand and it was $10, $9.99. You know how Marshalls, TJ Maxx, all those places go. So cute. Um, but it came with these leggings and then this little like denim chambray. Cham what do you call it? Whatever, this top. I thought that was really, really sweet on her. I held it up to her. That. And then, I don't know if I should show you. I really want to. Okay, this is not going to go in her playroom, so I'll show you this. So I got this sign. This will go in her bedroom at Hobby Lobby. Everything that hung on the wall was 50% off, uh, like pictures, signs, and all that. And then, so this says 10,000 goodnight kisses, and it just has the beads, and it's gray, has the natural wood. That is so my vibe and my style right now, and this will go somewhere in her bedroom. She doesn't really have anything on the walls in her bedroom, which some point I'll redo her room. <laughs> Good grief. I thought that was too cute. That was $16, but 50% off. So I got it for eight bucks. I'm not going to show you the rest. <laughs> I really want to, but I'm not because we are not that. Oh, guess what? Okay. Sorry. Um, we are not that far away from a playroom tour. So I just got a notification. I checked my emails right as I walked through the door that my Ikea order shipped finally. Now the only thing is when it gets to me, I'm praying that is everything that I needed because it was just a weird situation. So, um, praying that that gets to me and I think that's going to get to me by Monday, the 14th. So as long as I can get that situated very fast, then we are on track for like end middle of, you know, middle end of October, not end, but whatever hopefully in a couple of weeks and um so yeah you'll be seeing all this stuff very soon anyway so also i don't think i mentioned to you guys here on youtube but i got a p.o box finally so i will have that in the description box if you guys are interested in sending sydney and i some letters um i know i get like asked all the time if i have a p.o box so i officially do um and yeah i'd love to hear from you guys so now i'm gonna get cooking some dinner it's a really cold kind of cold fall day and I just want to be cozy so I think I'm gonna make the um little pumpkin pasta do you want pasta tonight Sydney what want, want some pasta yeah. all right I'm so glad I feel better I'm so glad Sydney's fine it was a very mild cold the worst that I felt was actually the day that I posted my vlog or the day that I vlogged I was I got like some body aches and whatnot but never a fever so it was a fairly mild cold without a sore throat which is always a in my book and without congestion really only like a little bit of congestion so knock on wood that we are in the clear for a little bit and uh yeah now I'm hungry. I have a Netflix marathon, KG saxophone. We'll order in a bunch of food. I'll put your favorite music on all the way baritone. Oh, yeah. Shut the lights, go in front. of Sydney's rice bin right there. The pasta sauce is really good. I'm actually surprised that I liked it, but it is really blended and creamy. Mmm. I could have cooked the pasta a little longer. I cooked it like, the recommendation says seven to nine minutes and I cooked it for nine minutes and it's still crunchy. A little, little al dente for us, so. But it tastes good. Pasta tastes like pasta. And the sauce just like, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know if you can tell there's butternut squash in there. Tastes good. I guess I can eat two more. Mmm. Yeah. Yummy. A little crunchy, but yummy. Yeah. Alright, dinner's done and she wants to play in her rice bin. She's played with every day since the day I filmed it. 
Um, it still smells like vinegar though. I was kind of thinking it would go away, but it still smells like vinegar. Pew. It does kind of make a mess, but that's okay. I don't even care. She plays with it for so long and loves it. You're going to put it in your blue bucket? Are you looking for the purple thing? I got it. She likes to put the rice in here. Random. Is that what you're looking for, sweetie? Okay. Mm -hmm. We do it last month. Right. Catchy. Yeah, it's not cooked rice, it's just play rice. It's just right. I love you, baby. So I just took the spider bowl because we haven't put anything in here and I put my cords and my sunglasses. I don't know why it's taking me so long to get a bowl to do that with. Like it's a no brainer. It finally is just off this counter and it feels really nice. That's not the prettiest thing right now, but now I'll be on the lookout for a cute little bowl until I get an end table. Are you done playing with that rice kiddo? We are gonna end today's video here. This little girl is ready for the night. Ready for the night? No. What? No. She's ready for the night. We're gonna go read some books. We played a bunch in the playroom. Now we're ready for the night. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this day in the life vlog, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Mwah. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Say give this video a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. <laughs> thumbs up, dude. Thumbs up, dude.